in this lecture we are going to see about the tracker so for that first of all let's go to the ground floor here let's double click here and right now we are at the ground floor so what i exactly want to show you is that if i go to this so uh, wall tool and if i click here you can see that we have uh, this distance and angle that is changing as i am rotating my mouse or i am taking my mouse cursor uh, away from this point or towards this point okay so this is what exactly the tracker is okay so now let's say that you want to set up the distance so what you can do is you can just press the tab and right now we are at the distance let's again press the tab again so right now we are at the angle now let's again one more time press the tab and there you have all the details uh, related with the coordinates here so you can change as per your requirement as you can see here okay so now let's say that uh, i will set this distance to let's say of uh, 4000 mm that is 4 meter and I, if i just simply select that one you can clearly see that we have successfully modeled a wall of 4 meter here as you can see here so in this way you have to model uh, the wall okay and now that we are done with this thing uh, what exactly i want to show here is that if you go here and turn this off okay that is show height tracker uh if you draw the wall you won't be able to see that tracker okay so you, need, you need to be very careful you need to make sure that this tracker is on so let's press escape okay from here let's press escape or you can just go ahead and turn on this tracker and now you just bring back this tracker or what you can do here is that let's say you want to make some changes in the angle directly in that case you just simply need to uh enter the first letter of that one so let's enter a so you can see that i have just move directly to angle let's enter here the angle let's say i will make this one 60 okay and then click on enter so in this way you have to do these things directly okay as well as uh, you can go and use with um, do some modification with the ha help of tab as well So in this lecture we are going to look at the pack palette so for that uh, let me show you an example so what i will do is i will go to this uh, uh, this marquee tool and i will select these okay and after that i'll just simply press delete to delete all this okay so i i will again go to this arrow tool okay so now what i will do is i will just press escape okay to get out of this marquee tool Okay so I just want to show you something uh let's look at the pet palette so first for that uh, what I will do is I will choose the wall tool here and I will draw a wall from this point to this point and you can see that we have successfully drawn a wall so what I'm going to do next is that I will select this wall okay let me press escape and we will go to again arrow tool just press press escape one more time and you just simply need to select this wall and if you again select on this wall you will get these options here so basically this is the pet palette you can see that i have selected this wall and i can just move drag this wall here just like that or what i can do is i can rotate this wall from let's say from this end to this end just like that or what you can do is you can uh, create a mirror just like that or what you can do there are many lots of options so This is the use of the pet palette. Also I would like to show you one more thing is that if I click on this at the middle okay earlier I have clicked on this edges so if I this time I click on this center part you will see that the options are bit different than what we are getting at the edges as you can see here now we are getting these two options as well so I, if I just click on this one and I can just click here and I can just make some changes here as well as you can see here or what if i just to go go and select this option in that case also i will have a something like this okay so you need to keep this thing in mind is that after selecting that if you change the position from this into let's say if you select at this end the pet palette will be different the function will be different if you select at this end the pet palette and the function and all these things will be different you can see that right now we are getting the option of the extension so this pet palette automatically adjust itself as per uh, the 
selection region as well okay and it also changes as per this one it also changes as per the element you're going to choose so this time we have chosen the wall so what will happen Done. if you go ahead and we will uh, uh, go uh, select the beam tool okay. Okay. let's uh, draw let's go and say, draw a beam here okay uh, we have drawn a model a beam here so what i will do is i will go to the select tool option and i will just yes. click here and again i will click on this one now this time you will see that you are getting this black palette option so these changes as per the location where you have selected also which element you have chosen so now let's say that i will i will go and select this slab tool and i will simply go and model a slab like this and after that I, again i will press escape and then i will select this one and this time i will go ahead and select here so now you can see that the pet palette option uh, is a bit different from what we have chosen earlier we have seen these two cases so this is the pet palette okay it will changes as per the location of the element okay it will changes as per the type of element you choose so you need to keep this thing in your mind in this lecture we are going to see about the offset of the wall which is very important and we are going to use this in our upcoming lectures so first of all what we are going to do is here is that i will go and select it like this okay and delete these elements here after that i will again go to wall tool and here i will just simply draw a wall from something like this you can see just like this one okay and then again i will click here and after that i will draw a wall uh, here as well okay so now let's say that you want to offset uh, this wall so first of all you need to escape and right now we are at the uh, arrow tool here so you need to select this wall okay now let's say you want to offset this wall so if you go ahead and click on this one now you can see that right now we are not getting the uh, option of uh, offset okay so in that case what you have to do let's press escape oh. and uh, you have to select both the walls in order to get that option so for that what are, if you want to select this one you just simply need to shift and select so as you can see here that i have selected both the walls and right now you if you look at the color it is of green color now what you have to do next here is that you have to select at this edges just simply do a left click and now you are getting option of the offset at edges so if you go ahead with this option offset edge you can actually uh, just enter the value at what distance you want uh, this offset so let's enter 1500 let's click on d okay let's let's uh, let's offset this one by 1500 okay okay and now uh, what i'm going to do next is let's say again i will as you can see here this, this is selected i will simply go and click here and this time i can also offset this whole wall as you can see here you can offset this whole wall and if you press d you can actually change this uh, distance so what i will do is i'm going to offset this one by let's make this 1000 okay So as you can see, the distance is selected as one. I'm going to make this Sharma. one. Okay. So let's select here. Okay. So now, as you can see here, that we have uh, offsetted this uh, wall by uh, something like that. So you need to keep this thing in mind that whenever you are doing the offset, you just need to make sure that both of these these walls are selected. in this lecture we are going to look at the drag tool okay so first of all uh, let me press escape to unselect these two walls i will go ahead and select only this wall okay and after that uh, what i will do is i will just simply do a single click here at the edges and now i have the option of this drag so i can drag this wall here just like that okay and here i can just enter on uh, the distance let's say For entering the distance, I just simply need to enter the first uh, 
uh, alphabet of the distance that is d and here i i am going to drag this one by 2 and uh, two th uh, that is 2 meter to uh, 2000 mm and now that i have moved this wall in this direction what i can do here is that so also what you can do here is that uh, if if you just need to select this time and you don't need to go here and uh, go and click here to activate the drag option what you can do alternatively is that you can just simply enter control d okay to activate the drag option and you just simply need to click somewhere here in this region and you can actually use the same option so in this way you can save your time you don't need to go back to this region here and then select here so you can just simply go ahead and use this option okay so like that you can use that option as well so also let's say that instead of dragging you want to copy that one so in that case what you have to do is as you can see here the wall is selected and after that you just simply need to press ctrl d okay and then you have to select here and in the middle of that process what you have to do you have to press control and you can see the plus sign here that is appeared just below my mouse cursor so let me press uh, control again and you can see the plus sign has been disappeared and again I'm going to press control from my keyboard and you can see the plus sign has been appeared so what is the meaning of that plus sign if you are going to do uh, uh, control D and then after that again you press uh, control in that case you are not only dragging but also you are copying the wall so let me press uh, somewhere here so at this distance and you can see here that we have successfully created a copy of this wall okay just like that and now let's suppose that you want the multiple copy in that case you have to again uh, press control D to activate the drag option and here you just simply need to do a single click here okay and you can see that right now we don't have any plus sign here so for activating uh, the multiple copy what you can you just simply need to press control and alt from your keyboard and right now you are seeing two plus sign here as you can see here again i am pressing control alt and you can see uh, the two plus sign shows that now we are in the multiple mode so in that case uh, if i take my mouse cursor to let's say click here and again click here and let's say if you want to add some distance uh, here you can also do the do that thing here as well you simply need to enter d and here what i will do is i will make this 4000 and after that i will simply enter so in that way you have to work with the track tool and you can see that we have seen so many options in the track tool so let me press escape to get out of this command and again press escape to deselect all these walls in this lecture we are going to see about the rotate and mirror tool so first of all what you have to do is you have to select uh, this wall okay just like that and you have to click on this edge and right now you can see that we have uh, this second option that is available as this one is rotate option so you just simply need to click on that one and after that you have to specify the first point so i will choose this first point and after that you have to specify the second point that is this one and after that you can rotate this wall uh, anywhere you like so let me rotate this wall just like that and you can see that we have successfully rotated the wall in this direction so now just like the drag tool what you have to do is you can also make the single copy or you can also make the multiple copy so how we are going to do that first of all uh, let's click on this edge here right now we are at the rotate command you just simply need to specify let's say this end and this end here okay and after that what i can do here is that uh, i will simply enter control from my keyboard and you can see the plus sign has been appeared and i can also change set the angle so i will press a from my keyboard and after that i'm going to set the angle as 30 degree after that i will just simply press enter so now you can clearly see that we have successfully created a copy of this wall here now what you can do here is that you can also copy uh, you can also create the multiple copy of this wall okay so again you have to go and select this wall just like that 
you have to specify this point here and after that i'm going to take this one pet palette on the upper side after that i will click here and again what i will do is you just simply need to enter control and alt from your keyboard and now you can see the two plus sign has been appeared it means that now you can create the multiple copy you can see just like that multiple copy as you can see just like that so in this way you have to work with this rotate command okay let's let me press escape and again press escape and you can see that this is the wall that we have created also uh, one important uh, tool here is that the mirror tool so for that what you have to do uh, this time i will go with this wall so i will just simply click here okay and then after that i will click here again and now you can see that this is the mirror option I just simply need to click on that one and after that I have to specify this line just like that and you can see that the we have successfully mirrored this object here but the problem here is that uh, this original object was also deleted so in, in that case let's say you want to you want both of these elements so for that what you can do is you can again click here okay let's select the mirror tool and after that what you can do here is that before selecting you can just simply press control and you can see the plus sign here just below this small pencil and when you click on this time you will see that you have successfully copied uh, uh, mirrored this wall on the other side um, but the original wall is still there so in this way you have to